poem Amanda by Robert Klein. The meanings and explanations, Term Two, CBSC English, Class Ten. In this poem, Amanda, the poet Robert Klein tells us about a girl, Amanda, who is constantly being instructed by one of her parents, most probably her mother, not to bite her nails, not to bend her shoulders, to sit up straight, and not to sit in a lazy manner. When her mother instructs her, Amanda is tired and she imagines herself to be a mermaid who is drifting blissfully, moving with the current of water happily in the Emerald Sea, in the sea which is described as being green in color. She says that she wants to be the only inhabitant of the green sea. In the next stanza, we see that her mother uh, is inquiring whether she has done her homework, whether she has tidied her room. She is also reminding her to clean her shoes and Amanda escapes from the reality. She tries to imagine herself as an orphan roaming the street and she uh, thinks uh, that she is drawing designs on the soft dust with her uncovered feet as she walks and then she enjoys the freedom it is called freedom is sweet she enjoys the freedom which she is having uh, without any instruction from her mother and this is very precious for her and the silence is golden that is without any instructions that moment is something very precious then again, Amanda's mother starts instructing her not to eat chocolates as she has acne and she sees that Amanda is not paying attention to what she is saying and she asks her, will you please look at me when I am speaking to you? She, her mother tells her to pay attention to what her, she is saying. And again, you will see Amanda escaping from the reality, trying to imagine herself. In this stanza, Amanda uh, imagines herself to be Rapunzel. Okay, Rapunzel is a fairy, fairy tale character, and uh, she has been captured by a witch and kept in the tower. And uh, the witch used to climb with the help of her long hair. But Amanda thinks that her life will be very peaceful in the tower, uh, and nobody will be disturbing her, as she will not uh, allow anybody to come to the tower. Uh, the difference between her and Amanda is that Rap uh, Rapunzel, the real fairy tale ca character had let her hair uh, down uh, for the witch to uh, climb and come up to the tower. So here you see again she escapes from the real world and uh, she is enjoying uh, the imaginary world more because she is always instructed by her mother. Amanda's mother will be instructing again. Okay, you see every stanza, Amanda's mother is instructing and uh, Amanda is imagining. But the last, now the last stanza, Amanda's mother will be instructing, but there will be no answer from uh, the no imagining part uh, given after that. So Amanda, Amanda's mother now wants her for behaving in this odd way by saying that stop that sulking once and tells her not to be moody uh, uh, because she if they're seeing Amanda's behavior she thinks that others will blame her uh, for um, for Amanda being uh, moody. She also scolds her by saying that her behavior will one day make people think that Amanda was constantly uh, nagged, okay, harassed by her mother uh, and therefore she points out uh, that she should um, behave in a proper uh, way. Uh, so, you see Amanda's mother is very dominating, but uh, it happens that at this uh, age, uh, children tend, uh, tend to have these kind of natures. So, they need instructions. So, when they grow up, they will be um, acceptable by the society and will form good habits. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos.